Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to present to you the single best balance exercise for seniors and for fall prevention. We like to keep this, uh, you know, you guys are busy people, right? right? So you don't always have time to do a whole regiment of exercises. So we're just going to give you one to work on, probably one of the best ones. Right. And, you know, this correlates with the, or uh, kind of relates to the video we just did last week about the study saying there was, they had six specific exercises, and this is one of them. We like it, and we're going to tell you why. But All right. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to the FB. Let's oh, see, let's look at that. You know, oh, Facebook, ooh. and like us, Bob and Brad, because if you like us, we're going to send some positive vibes there your you way. Go. You're going to set, kind of set you for the day. Mm. And say no more, Bob. So this probably shouldn't be a 12-minute video, Brad. If we're yeah, we should. Yeah, maybe we should get a short one for once. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the single best exercise. It, you know, this doesn't have to be for seniors, or you know, it could be for someone that's coming off of an injury or uh, illness. Right. Whatever reason you don't feel steady on your feet. Uh, one of the biggest reasons people fall is when they transfer from a chair, either getting onto a chair or getting off of a chair or bed or something of that nature. High fall risk there. Right. Uh, and that's what this relates to. So what makes the best exercise? Number one, can you do it alone or independently? That's important. If you live by yourself and you want to practice something, you want to be safe with it. As therapists, we're always thinking. Right. Can What's the worst case scenario? Right. What's going to happen here? Right. You could get hurt trying to prevent falls. Right. <laughs> yeah. If you're a therapist well, and you send someone home with exercises and they fall, <laughs> You've kind of failed. Because of your exercise, you know, it's not a good thing. Number two is uh, we want to work a lot of muscle groups because the muscle groups, the stronger you are, the safer you are typically. It's one of the components of staying tall on your feet and not tipping over. So quadriceps, hips, core, those are all three that this really works as well. And this works the balance, static balance while you're up. And then the last one, of course, is can you progress it? Can you make it easy for a beginner and progress it to as as you get stronger, more balanced, and whatnot. And so, let me guess, this this exercise contains all three of these. It does, just okay. like that. Very good. Okay, so what is the exercise? Everyone's waiting, Bob. All right. Okay, so I show I think we should start on the bed, though, don't you think? Or we you could start, start, yep. Yeah. You, could, you could start to make it easier. Right. Well, let's, let's just do this. Let's just show them the exercise. Okay. We're driving these people crazy here. This is it. This is the final product. You sit, good posture, arms across like this and simply stand up and sit down with good control. And again, you may not be able to do that yet. Right. But we're going to progress you to the point where you can. Right. And, you know, the thing is about this, it's a real functional exercise, and also it's one that everybody can do because they have the equipment. Right. So they, you know, it's very easy. Right. They either have a bed or a chair. Right. And um, uh, if you have a chair, one with two armrests, solid armrests, a solid chair, not one that's wobbly, you're going to want that. Um, and uh, you'll see sometimes you can adjust the height of a chair, which can be helpful. A lift chair, uh, in this case, we're using a foam. You can use a pillow because the higher the chair, the easier it is. And that makes a big difference. A big difference. A very big start. difference. Uh, so you can start on your bed. The beds are typically higher than a chair. It's a good place to start if you have, you're having a hard time doing this one. Some people even go to the corner like this. Sure. You're just going to get the legs back behind you a little yep. bit better. Yep. Because in order to get forward, you do have to bring your nose over your toes. Right. Now, you can't to stand up straight like this is difficult, especially yeah. off a low surface like that. So you're going to lean forward, and you can push off your legs to start off right. with. Right. Um, and, you know, do these until the point where you can do a comfortable 5 to 10, probably 10 reps is the goal, right? Right, I, exactly. I mean, yeah. Exactly. And then eventually, you know, when that becomes easy, maybe it's going to be a couple weeks down the line, then you can go to the across in the chest like this. Right. And, and, you know, aside from the bed, you may have, depending on your level, if you're uh, real unsteady and you feel uncomfortable, you may want to have something in front of you. To hold, now you may have a walker, you could put that in sure. front of you, that's a, a real good option, you could have a chair. Um, if you're starting in a chair, you're going to push off with both hands and then see if you can stand and balance for about five seconds. And then when you sit back down, make sure you don't plop. This, right. uh, this Controlled a, sit. Right. And if you need to you know, reach back with one hand, we encourage that all the time. But as you get stronger, if you can 
sit down nice and slow and controlled like this. That's the ideal situation. And this is probably a good time to mention this, Brad, that you know, this is why Brad and I have sometimes trouble with the lift chairs. Right. Because when people start to become reliant upon them, now I, it's fine to use a lift chair just to bring it up high enough that you're able to stand. Let's say you can't get out of the chair. Right. But if you're using the lift chair every day, those muscles are gonna get weak and you're gonna fall more. Sure. And I see it on people who own those. Uh, the lift chair, he's talking about the recliners, they have a button and, yeah. it, and it lifts the recliner up and they go up quite high. They, they work really well, but you don't wanna overuse them. You don't wanna become dependent upon them. Right. You wanna to try to you know, use your own muscle strength. Sure, yep. So. so the progression from a chair here is two hands up, good control, stand for a few seconds, sit back down. When that gets relatively easily, go to one hand then push off with one hand and get up, stand. You know, if you need the walker or chair in front of you, use that. You get to 10 of those and it feels easy. Then you can start going to pushing off the arms or oh, off the legs. Off the legs. Yeah. Same thing, 10 repetitions when you can do that. Then you can start going to the final, the final product that really works well in here. And if you want to even make it more challenging, you can bring your feet close together so they're touching and try it that way. That, that adds a little bit to it. Make sure the chair is behind you. If you lose your balance, the chair is there. The worst that happened, you could fall into the chair. The it, final thing would be to take the cushion out, though. Ah, good point, lower. Bob. Lower the chair. So if you, like I started with this cushion on here, I'm going to take that off. And that's about an inch and a half. Boy, that'll make a big yeah, difference. A big difference. You'd be shocked. There's people that literally can't get out of a chair. And you put this in and they can't. Right. So at home you can just use a pillow. You know, you may want to start out with a pillow. Once you get through the whole series, we just want to take the pillow out and see if you can get that way. Um, and again, this is where falls happen a lot, is either getting into chair or out of the chair. You strengthen that up with repetition and strength and confidence. It makes a big if you're difference. Not an exercise person and you just want to kind of spread this out through the day. Sure. Every time you go to a chair, when you get up, do three reps. Sure. You know, don't, if you don't feel like you're that person that wants to do 10 reps, uh, you know, just every time you use the chair, do a quick three reps and you're going to keep your strength up that way. Sure. And, and, and that way, you know, you, you save a lot of time. Sure. Right. So, and time is money. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me, Bob. All right. Well, do we have anything else to say, Brad? No, I think we covered it well. Okay. We can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. Thank you. But we're working on it.